Hey Gemini, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Gemini, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of June 13th through the 19th, 2016. Okay, let's get right into your messages, uh, Gemini. For some Geminis that I'm reading for, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Four of Wands in the upright. So this is a good card. Uh, it's a very physical card. It's a positive card. Uh, what's written on this card is called uh, completion. So from the past, there's some sort of completion that has taken place with some Geminis. Now, this could be relationships. This could be, um, you know, work projects or, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be associated with work, but it could just be projects in general, but some sort of completion. Now, that's just the past, but there's more energy related to that past that I'm getting, but I don't want to spend too much time on that. It's just that... I'm just picking up a you know positive vibe for some of you. And moving forward for your reading for this week, this card relates to um, possible relocating. For some Geminis that I'm reading for, you may uh, be contemplating on relocating to a new area. Some of you are possibly you know thinking about purchasing a new home or um moving to another area apartment condo something to do with movement this is a physical card so it's all about that movement but it's uh good energy and then i'm reading for a gemini or two that's cohabitating with a fire sign so they could be uh married or in a relationship or dating a fire sign but it's coming across as being for right now a very happy uh environment or home life for you leo sagittarius aries male or female this is a very positive physical card and it's all about having to complete something from the past and then because it's part of your reading uh, for this week, there may be something that completes that you may have been working on. And since this is a general reading, I'm trying to broaden the messages the best that I can and extend it out to cover all areas and aspects of your life. So there's something that's going to be completed with some of you, um, whatever is uh, close or significant and personal to you. This is what I'm saying. There's some sort of completion taking place. Two weeks ago, yesterday going back to two weeks, now we have the Three of Wands in the upright. So this is a very physical card as well. So this is positive movement forward. So it could relate to the message that I said that there was some sort of completion that came to an end. And the Geminis move forward with that. Also, this also represents um, those creative ideals and that passion may be connected to a project that you move forward with. Um, the two of wands represents the formulation of those ideals and, you know, just setting the groundwork. The three of wands represent you're actually, f you know, physically moving forward with that. And it's, in, you know, in a positive sense. Three also represents a, a love triangulation for me. So there could be a Gemini walking away from a fire sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be or could be the fire sign walking away from the Gemini. Uh, either or it doesn't necessarily have to be a direct fire sign. It could have fire sign elements in their birth chart but somebody's walking away or moved away within a two-week period from a relationship and then there was something that was positive um that some of you have completed a few weeks back and it's in your passing so this is passing energy but there's still part of that energy that lingers on for you gemini that there's something positive uh moving forward with something uh so just have to see what the rest of the cards say in terms of that energy but, oh, and what's written on this card is uh, virtue, okay? So I like to use these uh, different tarot decks because sometimes they have different words and they could mean totally different things, but it doesn't matter. Whatever it means to you, this is what I'm, I'm putting out there. So now in the middle of the week, we have the eight of wands. So you got a lot of movement here. But for some strange reason, there may be a slowness to um some good news because i associate the eight of wands with something uh positive and and good news so it could be that some of you are waiting to hear some good news about uh whatever it is it could be a job it could be a relationship it could be um anything important okay but there is still forthcoming but the only problem is is it's a going to be a temporary delay so the eight 
and this is swiftness the you know the word written on this card is swiftness so it comes in quick so it, it's still coming but it may be a temporary delay uh but i still get positive energy from this uh, whether it's what you know, what you're waiting for is to hear about a job, to hear about a relationship, uh, whatever it is. This also could be uh, energy uh, related to delayed messages that are still positive. So it may be that you're waiting to hear from someone and it doesn't come when you expect it to, but it's still going to come. OK, and that positive energy is still going to be within that message. Just a delay, temporary. Uh, and also, too, there may be for those Gemini's who, do, you know, do a lot of. Uh, you know, online shopping or whatever, whatever you ordered prior and you're still waiting for it, there may be a delay in that parcel or deliverance of mail. OK, it's good news, but it's going to be delayed. All right. Something arriving that's supposed to arrive very quick, but it may be uh, delayed a day or two. All right. So tail end of your reading, Gemini. Now we have the five. Five of disc in the reverse. So this is um, this is a pretty good card to have Friday going into the weekend is overcoming, you know, financial losses and, and stuff like that. The fives represent losses and. Um, the disc represents work and finances. So it could be um, a couple of things here tied into this five of disc showing up in reverse. It could be that there was money uh, owed to you or paid to you and you received it or you will be receiving it Friday going into the weekend. Um, and then it's the whole emphasis of overcoming some sort of financial loss. And then. Fives represent the clearing, so it's new energy, like I said, it's coming towards you uh, in terms of your finances. So I see a potential of finances looking a little bit uh, brighter and better for Gemini's uh, Friday going into the weekend. OK, uh, so whatever losses that you have suffered, you'll be um, overcoming that. And then there's the issue for the Gemini's that I'm reading for who are working there may have been some issues with co-workers um, where you currently work. OK, something going on, maybe some disagreements. Uh, and then also, too, I'm getting. It could have been that some Gemini's received. Will be receiving some sort of uh, money owed to them from their employer. Uh, maybe this is the, the reason why the eight of wands is in the reverse still a delay and receiving some sort of compensation related to uh, work finance then there's the Gemini or two that I'm reading for dealing with uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo that's coming across as being a little bit unsteady steady unstable and insecure it's related to money though OK, overall, it's not bad. I feel that there's something going on in terms of movement, new home, apartment, condo, relocation to a different area. It's definitely going to take place because it's the three of wands up next. You're moving. Relationship wise, Gemini walks away from a fire sign, possibly. Or a fire sign walks away from a Gemini. Good news is on its way, but it may be delayed. And then overcoming financial loss. And money owed to you. Okay. So that's your reading. I like this reading for you, Gemini. Let's see how it pans out. Anyway, the messenger of Oracle card that I have selected for you. And these are new cards. So I'll just read the message from the textbook. Uh, related to the card I selected for you. Uh, change is unavoidable. And your message with this card says change is unavoidable. Every second of every day you undergo change. Your perception is altered by what you see, feel and experience from one moment to the next. Your body ages and moves closer to death with every breath. Autumn will always come to end the bounty of summer. And the new hope of spring will always follow the winter. 
Change is all around you. Do not let your fear bind you to the past and prevent you from enjoying your present and your future. Stop fighting. You cannot resist the inevitable, so choose instead to embrace it with acceptance and peace. I love this card for you, this message that's so powerful for Geminis. And like I've been saying in other videos, if the you know the messages above don't resonate with you, I always pull these oracle cards because there may be a message in there for you um, that you need to hear and receive. Okay, so Gemini, um, please have a good week. And for those who are celebrating your birthday, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Um, until, excuse me, until again, the next time, I wish you all love and light. Uh, thank you for visiting my channel. And please be safe. Take care, Gemini. Bye.